One of the important aspects to understand is that the education in plastics, engineering technology, is a very unique field. Uh, there are only a half a dozen schools in the United States that offer a specific program. There are variations, but a specific program. Our focus is on uh, conversion of material into an end product and all the, the engineering and design requirements that revolve around that. So we're unique in that regard. Some of the other programs are materials specific or computer-aided engineering and that kind of thing. In the curriculum, most of the courses have a lab component or a practicum component with it. And this would include anything from operating process equipment to actually doing design work, taking apart molds, putting them back together again, laying up composite work, uh, doing work as far as assembly and welding. Uh, the diversity is, is quite broad. They're actually able to practice uh, the lecture information and be able to apply what they learn in the lecture uh, in a real hands-on environment. I chose Plastics because it's a good program where you can uh, experience the technical side of manufacturing and also the hands-on side. I'm more of a hands-on kind of guy, and that's why I really like plastics. I felt like I could mess with, you know, a 50,000 ton machine and be able to mold parts for cars, you know, pop cans, lids, I mean, containers. You, I mean, you, it, it's unlimited, the number of things you could think of. Our students not only understand the fabrication machine, but they also understand how to set it up, how to operate it, how to convert it from one product to another. When our guys uh, finish, uh, at the end of the, their four-year experience here, they've had over uh, 450 hours of laboratory, which is far more than the majority of the schools in the United States. My favorite part is definitely the labs. Our labs are really hands-on compared to a lot of other, other programs I've heard about. I mean, from, from day one, our first plastic class, we go straight into a lab and do all, start to learn how to run all the machines, and we get to actually practice the theory and try to correlate the two into where it makes more sense in the long run where once we graduate we have a more practical use of everything instead of just the theory. Really we, what we're, we do here is we teach uh, more or less everything that's involved with plastics and so ultimately when the students graduate one of the charges that they have as they go through the curriculum is what do they want to do when they grow up. The plastics industry has um, several professional organizations that our students get involved with uh, probably the key one for the industry personnel or workers is the Society of Plastic Engineers. Um, that is a professional organization that is um, we have a student chapter for and that organization then allows students to do several different things. Number one, they attend uh, professional conferences. The second thing that allows them then to do with that contact is to form synergies with companies so that they get to meet folks that are out in industry that have maybe typical job positions that they are uh, trying to get in their future after the degree. The idea of uh, creating an environment that nurtures the students with industry mentors is key. I encourage them as well as any curriculum to be a member of the professional society that's there and uh, ours is, is great in that it does offer professional as well as uh, social activities for the student to do. Within our degree, the students are required to work. It's not a, I, they should, it's a requirement. And it is a course. In that course, the students are, are required to give weekly reports. We interview their management. Um, we interview them, make sure everything's going okay, make sure they're performing adequately. The first internship is usually the student's first experience in industry. And so they might be doing a wide variety of jobs, anywhere from being an operator, material handler, or maybe even doing some basic uh, engineering. In the second intern, we want them to have impact on the business. So we want them to be running programs, implementing quality systems, implementing uh, cost savings exercises and those kinds of things. Much of the time, the students get offered a position at a, a site where they had performed an internship. I worked at a place called Specialty Silicone Fabricators, which was a place up in Elk Rapids, Michigan, where I got to validate some new incoming equipment and run some quality assurance. And then last summer I worked at Steel Incorporated, the company that like makes chainsaws. I worked in their accessories department there, and they had a whole bunch of molding machines, and I worked with the head engineers there. Well, uh, my first internship, 
uh, was in Chatham, New York. I worked for Snoka Mold Plastics, and uh, they had me design a mold storage equipment or mold storage area for them, and uh, and also a secondary equipment storage area for them. Uh, once a student reaches a senior level, uh, they're ready to hit the marketplace in a wide variety of job opportunities. We expose the students to the opportunities, it's up to them to obtain the job. And based on what we know, the starting average salary for our grads last year was $53,000 a year. The professors here are really good about trying to hook us up with internships and full-time jobs for when we do graduate, we can make a smooth transition right into industry. So hopefully. Once I graduate here, I'll be going into a full-time job. What I actually uh, challenge my students for is to name an industry that either doesn't directly or indirectly deal with polymers. If you think of the medical industry, or you think of the electronics industry, or you think of the consumer industry, um, the branches uh, career-wise in the polymer industry for plastics are extremely diverse. Plastics are not going to go away. Sure, we have some challenges environmentally that we have to address, but they're going to be here. There are very few uh, institutions in the United States that offer some kind of training in the more plastics technology oriented uh, arena. We're one of them. Our students enjoy pretty good career paths uh, and, and career tracks, and um, you know there are opportunities. The industry has been here for a while. It certainly isn't going anywhere, but it's going to be increasing in the future. For students that are interested in plastics, I encourage them to come up and see the program. Theris is not only uh, one of the few, but is also the best as far as the plastics engineering technology.